Welcome to our devotional time this morning. We're in 1 Samuel chapter 28 today, verses 15 to 20, and we read, Now Samuel said to Saul, Why have you disturbed me by bringing me up? And Saul answered, I am deeply distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and God has departed from me and does not answer me any more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore I have called you, that you may reveal to me what I should do. Then Samuel said, Why do you ask me, seeing the Lord has departed from you and has become your enemy? And the Lord has done for himself as he spoke by me. For the Lord has torn the kingdom out of your hand and given it to your neighbor David, because you did not obey the voice of the Lord, nor execute his fierce wrath upon Amalek. Therefore the Lord has done this thing to you this day. Moreover, the Lord will also deliver Israel with you into the hand of the Philistines, and tomorrow you and your sons will be with me. The Lord will also deliver the army of Israel into the hand of the Philistines. Immediately Saul fell full length on the ground and was dreadfully afraid because of the words of Samuel, and there was no strength in him, for he had eaten no food all day or all night. We talked about this yesterday. This isn't uh, really Samuel. This is a demonic spirit in the guise of appearing to be Samuel. We know it's not Samuel because for any number of reasons, we spoke of some of them yesterday. So in a divine interaction, your guilt may be brought to bear, may be brought up to you. You may uh, feel awful. Your conscience may condemn you because you've done something wrong. But there will always come hope with it. God always is looking to redeem, to restore, to forgive, to transform, to give us hope. And so there will be hope with it. When the devil uh, communicates with us, he will try to e utterly eliminate and destroy hope. It will be entirely despair. And as you listen to this demon speaking and in, in sort of like, like he is Samuel, it's, it's interesting because there's zero hope in here for, for Saul. None at all. Samuel says, since God's not talking to you, why do you think I would talk to you if I'm, if I'm really Samuel? At the most basic level, there's no logic or rationality really operational in the mind of Saul. So then we have, he recounts uh, Saul's failure to be obedient and how that means he has zero hope here. And then he finally tells him that you and your sons are going to be with me. You're going to be dead. Tomorrow you'll be, you'll be deceased as I supposedly am, I and I'm dead, and now they'll be dead, and you'll be dead too. So the demons won't give him hope. They want to provoke Saul to entire despair, and uh, they manage to do some of that, don't they? So Saul's response is uh, he's, he's, he's utterly without hope. He falls to the ground. God has chosen not to answer you because of your willfulness, and now you're coming to God, and you're going you're gonna, to, what, take a, a, a sideshow here and and go through some dead person, and you're going to find out what, what you should do? What, what, what absurdity. So number one, it's like, you know, don't ever try to communicate with the deceased. That's, that's, not, uh, that's not going to work. That's wrong. There's a strong uh, Bible basis not to do that. Isaiah 8, 19, and 20, for example, would help us with that. You simply don't seek to those who peep and mutter. You don't go to an alternative authority source outside of God's word. So Saul knows better. He does it anyway. He, he's made the, the, the most ultimate uh, awful decision. And now what, what do you expect to happen? The, the fallen spirit here masquerading as Samuel does all that he can to remove any last vestige of hope from Saul. They're wrong, but they're very intelligent. And so you can't trust them. You don't talk to them ever, ever, zero. You don't give them anything. Talk to the Lord God. Talk to Jesus. He wants to hear from you, and he has solutions. He has hope. But Saul has gone to the wrong source here, and that all comes because Saul long ago left off from doing God's things God's way. So let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Thank you that you have shown us a different way today. The lesson is by uh, the opposite, uh, not to do what Saul's doing here, not to listen to demonic spirits. They cannot help us. They can only bring confusion and despair. You give us hope and courage, and you give us a gift of repentance to change our hearts. Lord, may we take you up on it every time. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. This is it. This is the authority. This is your source of hope and help. This is where you find out the most that there is to find out about Jesus, about God, the God of heaven, the Holy Spirit. It's all, it's right here. This is what you need. Be in this word every day and you will not fail to find hope and courage to face the day. God be with you.